I knew nothing about rum before I met Adam. I actually stumbled in this bar by accident one day, tried a chili coriander mojito, turned me on to the rums, and now I'm hooked. The, the red hot daiquiri has uh, three basic proponents, as all daiquiris do, rum, lime, and sugar. So for the rum, we use one ounce of Monte Cristo spiced rum, one ounce of Bacardi light rum. Our sweetener aspect of this uh, is cinnamon syrup, which we make in-house which is basically simple syrup, which is just sugar water and steeped cinnamon. Fresh squeezed lime juice, we're gonna use another one ounce of this. This was just squeezed earlier today, so I assure you it is fresh. And then we're adding just a hint of our homemade grenadine syrup. Dash of cayenne powder. Rum on the River really uh, is a tremendous event that brings together um, lovers of rum, lovers of music, and of course lovers of the mojito. I really enjoy opening up people's eyes to the cane spirits industry. 2010, we created Rum on the River. I created Rum on the River to feature a celebration of the cane spirits industry and show all of Philadelphia really what rum is about. We had over 30 brands of rums at the event. We had live samba music, dancing, dinner, and we had our annual Mojito Olympics. It is impossible to put into words how much I have learned about rum through Adam Cantor. The perfect Tommy Bahama rumologist should have intricate knowledge of rum, mixology, and lead the Bahama lifestyle. I've traveled the world learning as much as I can about rums and the Caribbean culture. Trips to London, Miami, Tampa, and New York for rum festivals have done a good job of introducing me to many new rums. Tours of distilleries and local activities on Caribbean islands have given me added insight to the world of rum and the people who create it. Along with my qualifications, I'm excited to bring what I've done in Philadelphia to the world of Tommy Bahama.